I remember when I first came to Hollywood, my parents were British. My mother used, we had a house in, on Angelo Drive, and my mother used to have tea for all the British colony. Oh. And they would come every afternoon for tea. I love it. And, and uh, uh, Brian Ahern, who was one oh, of my Brian. favorites, yes. he used to come for tea. And in fact, he took me up on my first airplane, airplane ride. And one day he said to my mother, oh, he said, you remind me of my mother in Ireland, and it's so lovely, you know, to, to have tea at your house. And he said, you know, he said, I've just done a film with a lovely actress called Olivia de Havilland called The Great Garrick. <laughs> and he said, she introduced me to her sister Joan, who is the loveliest girl. She has no desire to be an actress. <laughs> 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 and he said, he said, it's just, he said, and he said, we're planning to be married. And my mother said, oh, how lovely. And they got married. And of course, you know what happened. Olivia de Havilland got <laughs> no, married. No, no, no. Joan Fontaine married, married Brian Ahern. Oh, I didn't and know. then what happened? Oh, well, she, she, she got Rebecca. That was the end of the that marriage. Was the end of that. And she left Brian Ahern when she got Rebecca? No, no, not. Well, she stayed for a while. I remember we used to entertain at the, at the Hollywood Canteen, and, and, and one time we were there, and I lived away in Santa Monica, and Joan said, Oh, Pat, come and stay at our house. You don't have to drive all the way to Santa Monica. And so I did. And so she showed me the guest room, and she laid out this gorgeous nightgown. And she said, She was filming a, a film with. Oh, the, it's the Mexican actor who married Lupe Velez. Oh. Gilbert Rowland? No. No, 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 no. 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 Oh, Yarrow Flynn? No, no, Mexican. Mexican. Fra oh, God. Ramon Navarro? No, no, <laughs> later than that. Anyway, no. she was doing a film called Frenchman's Creek. Oh, yeah, I know, with uh, Fernando. Uh, no. No. Not it wasn't Anthony Quinn. Was Quinn. Was no, no. Ricardo Montalban? No, no. We're out of Mexicans. We're out of Mexicans. <laughs> We've run out of Mexicans. <laughs> no, I can't think of him. Anyway, she, 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 she said, I have to be up early in the morning to film. And why don't you put this on and have breakfast with Brian? Because he always liked you better anyway. <laughs> Joan Fontaine said, said that, that to you. Yeah. She wrote us a Christmas card and she sent a photograph of five dogs. And she says, Kay, I never realized how wonderful the four-legged animals were. If, if I had known, I wouldn't have been married five times. <laughs> <laughs> she answered the door, and you know, she was getting over a stroke and walked, she, you know, and she opened the door, and she had a cigarette in her hand, and she said, don't ever have a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I wasn't planning on it. Oh, I love it. I love it. That's so beautiful. She was adorable. Oh, I, I liked her. Many people I didn't her. like her, but I, I loved her. her. I yeah. never met her. I would oh. love her. Oh, you would have loved her. I would have adored her. Yeah, but you know something? I found the people in burlesque <laughs> far more moral than yes. in musical comedy. They were gentlemen. Really? That's what June Havoc yeah. says, too. Who is this? In burlesque. When I started, I, I joined the burlesque company. Did you? To do wow. sketches, did and you? I did. I did Betty Hutton, you know, impression yeah. of Betty Hutton and yeah. Joan, Joan Davis and all that. Oh. I never forgot because it was a Christmas Eve, <laughs> and it was in Cincinnati at the RKO. And he'd say to me, "Okay, look, the degenerates that are out on Christmas Eve." <laughs> <laughs> did he did. He wow. recited the tell tell heart. But he said something so interesting. He said, I said, did you take acting lessons? He said, no, I studied horses. I said, you studied horses? He says, you know how a horse, you know, with a brow? He says, and then they just go. I said, that's right, he does that in movies. Yeah, he does, yeah. Oh. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Oh. Oh. No, oh. Peter Moore, it was fun. Was he, he loved to tease the, the midgets. What would he do to the midgets? Yes, he would just say good morning, go up to them and they'd run. <laughs> <laughs> I remember him being sinister in of movies. Of course. Oh. <laughs> they made him feel tall. They oh, made him feel tall. Very and they tall. had a box there, you know, when some of them go and he'd open up the box. Like, <laughs> 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 I was your favorite as midgets. I never got oh, over that. Oh my! Oh, that's so <laughs> funny. That funny. That's so funny. There were a lot of midgets that worked in those days. Oh, oh yeah. Well, there were about four midgets, and then they had one little girl named Olive, the little teeny one. Oh, she was perfect, perfect little figure.
True. Oh but picture Johnny what a movie! Paleo. All those Johnny I, Paleo. I, I oh, with him. him. Wasn't he I pit, Johnny Paleo and the Harmonica Rascals. Oh, oh didn't you love him? And and oh yes. He but oh. he j he would just he would do a pantomime thing where they say, "What are you doing?" He. <laughs> 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 He was married to this great big Polish girl. He was? Yes. Somebody and put him up to it. And, and <laughs> 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 oh, and, and I love it. Oh. But you know another guy that I love? Gene Sheldon. Do you remember Gene Sheldon? Yes. <gasps> yeah, I really learned a lot from him. He played the banjo. He would do that and he had the stunt hat. He came out, he had a girl in the middle of his heart. Who was that? Oh, he came out on stage, he came out on stage and he had a, he, he had a straw hat on and a white vest and a carnation. He just walked out and he took the carnation out and they put salt and pepper on the eight. Oh, look, Chaz Chase. Chaz Chase. I, I, have, I, have, I have an autographed picture from him because we were on the same bill. And then, and, then, and then when he finished reading the carnation, he took his straw hat off and he ate the hat. And then he took out the vest, and, and, he, and then he walked that. off stage, and that was the whole act. <laughs> and that he was ate his own. hat. I worked what? with the Emmett Kelly in Cleveland. Hat? I don't know what it was made of, but I that was his act. I worked oh, with no. Emmett Kelly in Cleveland, wow. in the Alpine Village, oh, and he had an easel there, and he'd look at somebody in the audience, and he'd go like that, yeah. and he, it took him about ten minutes. You know, <laughs> and then he turned the thing around, and it was his thumb. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so I cute. love it. Oh.